do you think of the new leader uniting and even reinvigorating the ANC? Well, uh, given the division that's existed in the weeks leading up to this conference, given the divisions I've seen myself on the conference floor within the last hour, supporters of Cyril Ramaphosa, he's the man coming in saying he's going to clean out corruption, and the supporters of Dr. Nkosasana Glamini Zuma, she's the ex-wife of President Zuma, a significant politician in her own right as well, it has to be said. But I've seen between them deep, deep rancor, polarization in this party, and whoever does emerge victorious when the votes are counted, and I should say the delegates have actually started voting now, has a huge task. First of all, in trying to unite this party, which has been riven by infighting, by factionalism. And then, if they do manage to unite the ANC and lead it to victory in elections in 2019, there is a huge task to persuade the majority of South African voters that the ANC has turned its back on the age of corruption, the age of cronyism, of what's called state capture, where cronies of President Zuma allegedly, uh, in return for kickbacks, we're given chunks of state enterprise, vast sums in taxpayers' money. It's a big job to persuade South Africans. And I've spent a bit of time in the last week going around townships, informal settlements here, listening to people, and that is their major concern. That will define, I think, whether the ANC continues to be the dominant electoral force in this country. We should have a result in terms of who's going to be the leader by around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, just as the dawn comes up here in Johannesburg. Okay, Fergal, many thanks for that. Fergal Keane there live in Johannesburg.